Twitter may face government action for carrying a wrong map of India which shows Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh as a separate country. The map that appears on the Tweep Live section of the Twitter uh, of the Twitter website shows Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh outside of India. The distorted map was flagged by a Twitter user. It's gathered many angry reactions on the social media site. Sources say that the government may take tough action. Akhilesh joins us with the very latest. Akhilesh, this appears to be the latest standoff now between Twitter and the government of India. What are you picking up from your sources in the government? Are they likely to take a stern view of this? Absolutely, uh, Rishika, we've been told by the sources that this is a very serious matter because it pertains to India's integrity, sovereignty and these two issues, no, no government can compromise because Twitter is a repeated offender as per the government sources. They are saying that in November last year also, the Twitter had shown the location of Leh in Jammu and Kashmir instead of Ladakh. So this was the first offence and even prior to that, uh, Ladakh was shown as part of China and Jammu and Kashmir part of Pakistan. So these were two serious lapses on part of Twitter. The, on the earlier occasion, uh, it was pointed out to the Twitter CEO, uh, Jack, and after that, the, uh, the mistake was rectified. And even last year also in November, the Twitter had to rectify the mistake. But this year, uh, this uh, uh, mistake comes amid the standoff between the government and the Twitter. We have been seeing that every day, uh, there is some new development as far as the Twitter and the government standoff is concerned. And on this matter, the government sources are telling us, Rishika, that as per the IT Act Section 69A, uh, the provisions are very clear that uh, a mini maximum seven years imprisonment can be uh, done and also some financial penalty can be imposed mm. on the offender. And the government has the power to block uh, the platform uh, under Section 69A. So these are the possible actions which can be taken. And of course, Twitter, since uh, is in conti continuously uh, not abiding by the government uh, directions and not abiding by the new IT rules, so yes. of course, the Twitter has a lot of difficulties in the coming days. Well, compliance with the new IT rules already finds Twitter in the middle of a controversy, and now Twitter using the wrong map of India. The government definitely going to be taking a stern view of this. Is what Akhilesh is learning from his sources. Thanks so much for joining us with that latest information but there's more news pertaining to Twitter now on the 31st of May Twitter told the Delhi High Court that it was appointing Dharmendra Chatur a partner at a law firm that represented Twitter as its interim grievance redressal officer now remember this is an important post because the new IT rules require this officer to be appointed however the government has said that it could not accept the appointment of an outsider to a statutory post yesterday this interim officer quit now, Twitter has appointed US-based Global Legal Policy Director Jeremy Kessel as the Grievance Officer for India. The new rules, however, require an Indian resident for the role. Uh, my colleague... Uh uh, have my colleagues have been tracking the details of this story very closely but let's get in a reaction from the experts what do these developments both these developments really mean for twitter is trouble going to continue to brew between the government and twitter we have kazim rizvi uh, the founding uh, director of the dialogue the dialogue is a think tank that is working uh, on the intersection of technology public policy and society we also have abhik datta co-founder of henson group uh, india he is a tech expert um, abhik datta if i can come to you first uh, you know comment first on the issue of the map twitter using uh, you know the wrong map of india the government sources are telling us that they've taken a stern note of this well, well, that's a blunder. I, I, I think, uh, you know, you, you can't do things like this, especially, you know, considering the state like Jammu and Kashmir, which is so very sensitive, right? Uh, so, so they have to, you know, correct it and make sure that in future things like those don't happen. I mean, it's a very sensitive issue for the government of India. Right. So you're calling this a blunder, Kazim Rizvi. Which way would you weigh in? Troubles only mounting for Twitter, and this is really only the latest in in a series of issues that the government, uh, you know, is concerned about at the moment. No, I agree. Uh, I think this is an issue which Twitter must rectify as soon as possible, right away. In fact, uh, you, you cannot show a wrong map of India. Uh, and you, especially, I mean, you, you cannot sort of exclude any territory. And I think that's consistent with all platforms. And it, it should be something which uh, I'm sure the Indian government will take it up. Uh, but definitely, they should rectify this. They should correct this uh, as soon as possible. Uh, because uh, this is uh, something which is um, cannot be accepted at all. Yes. Uh, and I think it's important for all platforms also to sort of make sure that they abide by the law of the land Absolutely. and everything is inconsistent with uh, India's uh, legal procedures. But, you know, I want to I want to just focus 
on the larger controversy between the government of India and Twitter. Now, the other issue over the appointment of a grievance officer. You know, many experts like yourselves, uh, Abhik, have come on the broadcast and said, you know, what's the problem in doing it? Why doesn't Twitter India just go ahead and appoint a grievance officer? They did so. One of their legal partners, that wasn't acceptable because it's a statutory post, so someone from the outside can't be appointed. That was the government objection. He's quit, and now uh, the U.S. policy director has been appointed. He's the global legal policy director for Twitter sitting in America. Well, I, I personally don't see any issue with that, right? Uh, I mean, grievance officer is a very critical position, uh, especially, you know, it, it, this, this is the same guy who will be working with the users of Twitter, right? And yes. if people like you and me have issues, right, we can reach out to this guy and get our issues solved. I, I, I fail to understand why is it such a big deal. Because the government uh, rules require him to be uh, at least residing in India. Absolutely. I mean, you need somebody who knows the, the India as a society and culturally, you know, how people operate. It's, it's very important that you have somebody who is resident of India and who's lived in India for like 20, 50 years. So that's important. I don't know why he's quit, maybe pressure or something, but, uh, but it's a very, very critical position, especially for users, not for governments, for people like me and you, where our issues are being, you know, Kazim Rizvi, resolved. Kazim Rizvi, help us make sense of it. You know, uh, when it comes to the map also, it's, it's been a couple of hours since we broke the story here on NDTV. No reaction from Twitter so far. Colleagues have been trying to get in a word from Twitter. They should have been quicker on their feet to react to a blunder, which is what Abhik Datta has called it. Uh, and, 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 you know, this issue of the grievance officer, many people have said, why not just appoint the officer according to the laid down IT rules and get over with it? No, I agree. I think they should be quicker in reacting and taking, uh, sort of amending the map and sort of putting the right map of India. I think that's very important. Uh, they should do it as soon as possible, uh, rectifying it. Uh, but yes, you're right. I think, look, uh, it's it's something which all platforms have to comply with the new IT rules. You have to appoint somebody in India who is able to look at the complaints, who is easily accessible, who is able to sort of uh, look at the entire issue. So it's important when it comes to compliance and it's in the interest of Twitter, it's in the interest of the platforms to comply and they understand that. I'm sure they do understand that because otherwise safe harbor goes in question. Uh, so it's important that uh, sort of they understand this yes. issue as much as they can and uh, hopefully we should have uh, a grievance status officer who's a resident of India and then I think uh, you know, we can go on with it because uh, I think at, at this time, you know, you're looking at this whole tussle. Uh, I think it, it doesn't help anybody. Uh, so How I think it's important that... Out? How do you see this playing out? More trouble for Twitter inside? Well, I hope not. I, I hope that, uh, you know, they sort of appoint somebody who's based out of India and I, I think the matter is then rested, uh, you know, going forward. And uh, I think no more FOPA would, would be helpful to all no stakeholders, I think, in would, this. Would be helpful. Abhik Datta, you know, many still believe that it all started with Twitter flagging Sambit Patra's tweet as manipulated media. But the story has really moved on from there, hasn't it? Uh, you know, one thing after another appears to be more spelling out more trouble for Twitter, uh, at least in India. How do you see this Twitter versus government playing out in the next couple of days? Well, I don't see it as, you know, it, it's a fight. I think what the government of India has put forward in terms of new IT laws, it's a very, very basic thing. You know, you sh I mean, if, if you are a significant intermediary in India, like Twitter has like 1.7 crore users, that's a lot of user base, right? And then you need to have a grievance officer. There are other very basic things that the government of India is asking. I don't think we are asking anything Herculean from them. And if you can't have those basics in place, then that's a problem. I, I, I don't think government is after them. I think we're trying to make sure that, you know, there are laws of the land and you have to follow that. Look what these guys do when, you know, we talk about countries like uh, UK for that matter, right? When, when WhatsApp rolled out this new policy of, uh, you know, sharing data with Facebook, they did not roll that out in UK, but they did that in India. In fact, in UK, they were giving explanations to people of UK that we're not going to roll this out to you guys. So. So, you know, you, you can't have best of both the worlds. You have to comply. You, you can have a good, good user okay. base, but then you have to comply also. All right. Well, it's, it's, it's an interesting development that's taken place. No reactions from Twitter, either on the appointment of the grievance officer, uh, not being of Indian origin, neither has Twitter responded to uh, the wrong map of India. One sincerely hopes that the social media giant does come out with some kind of an explanation sooner rather than later. Thank you all very much for joining us on NDTV.